Hey, this video is going to be a day in the life in isolation. I've never really done a day in the life before. And I think that's just because I've always been like, ah, oh, no day is the same. I don't really have much of a routine, but I have never had more of a routine. Maybe that's the wrong way to put it. I've never had every day be so <laughs> similar <laughs> before. And I just thought it'd be nice to film what I get up to in a day. It is actually, in fact, right now, 6 p.m. But I'm gonna take you through what I've been up to today and take you along the journey. This is the evening sun that we get in the living room. If I move ever so slightly here, <laughs> I am blinded. You are currently stacked on top of lots of board games. Isn't that exciting? So today is Monday the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. By the time this video comes out that is just old news but may the 4th be with you. And usually on weekdays my alarm goes off at around 8am. This is a bit later than when it normally would have gone off pre-lockdown but hey. There's a lot less going on right now for me, personally. Obviously other people have got a lot more going on, but rather than punishing myself for having less work and not being as productive, I just thought I'll give myself an extra half an hour to an hour of sleep. So the alarm goes off at eight, and then I actually get out of bed at about 8.20. And then I empty my stoma bag and brush my teeth, and I did not film any of this because Dan and I were both naked. and. I'm not gonna do that. So then one of the things that I've been trying to do during the weekdays is exercise in the mornings. And my body was really stiff this morning. I think that's because on the weekend I did a lot of dancing and wasn't stretching. So I made sure to have a little stretch, did a little yoga stretch. And then because I am fully obsessing over the KDA pop stars dance routine, I did some more of that, started learning the second verse. This is the first time that I was learning the second verse and obviously got a long way to go until I've memorized it and it is <laughs> good enough for the Instagram stories, but I love it. And then it was quarter past nine and I got in the shower. This morning I put makeup on because it's a filming day. Because of Dan's job he has to go into the office a couple of days a week and Mondays is one of those days and so I try and save any filming or podcast recording that I have to do for days that he is not here because I need a silence. So I did my makeup, got my water, got my breakfast yogurt, did a little bit of desk work, had to organise some bits and bobs and then at 10am I was ready to get my equipment together and start filming. A bit of a different setup today, as you will see. Ended up filming standing up because I was filming a video about my sex books and instead of taking them all off the shelves, I just decided to film my shelves instead. Yay! Normally I try and bulk film my videos, but because I'm filming this video today as well, I kind of am filming two videos today. I'm just spreading it out a bit more than usual. Also this video took me longer to film just because setting up and packing down and getting all of the cutaway b-roll shots of all of the different books took a while. So I was done filming and packed down all of the equipment whilst the footage was uploading to my computer and syncing with the Google Drive that I have with my editor and all of that was done by about 11.30 and then we had a bit more desk work to be done. I was scheduling videos and podcasts to go out to patrons. And patrons get these videos a day early and then also scheduling this week's podcast episode as well. Tackled my emails and then chatted with my assistant on Discord for a bit. And then it was 12.45 and time for lunch. I only had a yogurt this morning and so I needed some more food in me. I made fajitas on the weekend, so I just got that stuff out of the fridge, basically, and popped it all in a tortilla and then heated it up in the microwave and then dipped it in sour cream because <laughs> that's how I roll. Also, I got cold, so I put on a hoodie. And during all this, I got a very exciting package. I got a delivery for a sex toy from a company that I'm doing some sponsored Instagram posts with. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> Is it going to 
going to be part of my working day to practice with this. <laughs> practice, Jesus Christ. It is masturbation May. I'm going to have to schedule some time into the calendar this week to see what's going on with it. Actually, I'm not going to open it yet, just in case I need to open it for the Instagram stories. Sorry! And then at 1.30pm, we're back at the desk, back doing that desk work, which basically involved watching a video that my editor sent over to give notes and feedback on, and then creating some reading list for my patrons. I'm in that post-lunch slump, and I just want to sleep, you know, take a nap on the day bed right there. That would be great. There is work to be done. It is the beginning of May, and at the beginning of every month, I do a reading list for my patrons. So it could be videos, articles, podcasts, things that I've read, listened to, watched during the month that I want to share. So I use this app called Pocket and it's like a Chrome extension, but then also on my phone. So anytime I see something that I either want to save for later or I have read and I want to make sure that I have it to reference, I just pop it in Pocket. So I need to make that reading list today. So I'm gonna open up Pocket and see what's in there, see what I've actually consumed this month and write up my little reading list. But then also because the video that's going out tomorrow is an episode of Pleasure Trove, another thing that I do for patrons is a bonus Pleasure Trove newsletter. So that'll be everything that is like specifically sex, relationships, sexuality, love, dating, that whole world. And it just might be stuff that didn't make it into the episode or extra reading that I've done around some of the topics. So yeah, there we go. So we're just going to be making some reading lists today. Oh, and then also because it's the beginning of the month, we need to schedule in the Patreon monthly live stream. We need to pick a day for that. So we'll do a little poll for everyone and people can pick what day suits them. And then we'll do a little live stream. Guess who's available most evenings now? Oh yeah, this girl. Beep, beep, beep. And then Dan came home and I got to hang out with another human being. Dan's home, Hannah has a person to play with. You got beer? Ah! Dan is back. I've done the Patreon reading list and now I'm like halfway through doing the Pleasure Trove reading list. And then I have few more emails to do and then I'm gonna go for my walk. I'm working. <laughs> it is quarter past five and I am all done for work for today and I think I'm gonna go for a walk. This has kind of been a routine that I've been sort of getting into at least during the week and that's using my daily walk outside allowance to take my walk after work to kind of mark the end of the working day and the beginning of the evening because lord knows i need something to separate being in my flat and i think it just helps me mentally just to separate those two parts of my day and two parts of my life you know can't go out and have evening activities and do other things so my walk kind of marks the transition so i did everything that i needed to get done today, got both of the reading lists done and scheduled. My emails are under control and I had a look at the creative brief of the sex toy that got delivered today that I need to make some Instagram content for later this week. I just took some photos and boomerangs of it for the unboxing element because I need to put it on charge and maybe need to do some more work later. <laughs> I love my job. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I started making some Instagram story content with it, like with the packaging and the unboxing because I need to use it. And so whilst it was still in its packaging, get that content. I think it's time to go for a walk now. I'm back from my walk. I'm chatting with you, still working technically, even though I did say that I was 
going for my walk to transition from work day to chill evening, but yeah, I'm still working. But this is what happens when you film a day in the life. This is why I don't do these because I like to switch off from work, but not today. I started listening to The Secret Commonwealth on my walk, which is the second book in the Book of Dust trilogy by Philip Pullman. I'm also currently reading Normal People by Sally Rooney because I want to read it before I dive into the TV show. And I'm like 50% of the way through that on my Kindle. So I think I'm gonna just chill on this sofa and do some reading before I make dinner. And then this evening, I don't know what I wanna do. Either continue reading or I also have Killing Eve to watch. I think I'm like two or three episodes into the new season. So we've got Killing Eve. I'm also currently playing this video game called The Witness and I'm like in the final last bit and it's like a puzzle game and it's beautiful, but it's like if Portal and The Truman Show had a baby in a video game. It's kind of eerie, but beautiful, and I've no idea what's happening right now, because I'm inside the mountain and everything is different. I've got lots of things to be getting on with, but I haven't quite decided which one I'll do tonight, except be honest with yourself, Hannah, you'll probably start playing The Witness as soon as you've had dinner and then not stop until either you finish the game or it's like 10 30 11 pm we'll see <laughs> but for now i'm gonna continue reading some more of normal people <laughs> Well, I read for a bit and then got distracted by my phone. And now I'm cooking. We're making, uh, what are we making? Halloumi burgers and salad. Yay! This is the only way I can cook because I'm such a sucker for following recipes. Let's do it. So this is what we were attempting. This is what we got. How is it? All right, now scrape off the bad bits. <laughs> yep, everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Except with the salad. Nothing went wrong with the salad. It's pretty difficult to fuck up the salad. Although <laughs> McDonald's manages it. <laughs> Hello, we had dinner. We watched an episode of The Thick of It and I thought that I would be strong and read a book, but no, I just want to play the witness and complete these puzzles. And so Dan and I are going to sit next to each other and not talk and play different video games. This is how we spend some evenings. Fantastic. Puzzles, 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 puzzles. This video game makes me nauseous. <laughs> what game are you playing? Valorant. Do you want to give it a mini review? It's a... Uh... Counter-Strike like FPS with champions, it's pretty good. There we go, what's your rank babe? Not very good at the minute, it'll get better. What's it now? <laughs> uh, what are we on, silver? Silver. So you know, need to MVP it up some more. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I played two games yesterday and ranked up twice, so it shouldn't, be long. It shouldn't take long. What's the aim? Gold? Platinum? Uh, we're going all the way for Immortal. What does that mean? That you're one below Valorant, which is the top rank. Do people play this game professionally yet in teams? Is it's it... not even fully released yet. Oh, okay. But we'll... is this is this the plan? Yeah. So you're going to try and get on a team? No, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> sure. Look at this puzzle I need to solve. I told you it makes me nauseous, this game. and I think I've solved it. Pardon? Not to you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's 10 to 10. I've eaten a lot of hobnobs and I'm going a bit mad <laughs> because I need to doodle out these puzzles in order to make it work in my brain and it's still not working. This is the one that I'm currently trying to solve. I feel like I'm so near the end, but... Ah! God damn it. Anyone else played The Witness and basically doodled 
to help them figure it out. Here's some of my doodles from the other night. This is what I was doing. This is me playing a game. This is me having fun. I'm not going mad, I, I swear. <laughs> this is what isolation is doing to me. Right, let's do this. I think I did it. This. This mess. I just plugged it in. This is the most fun I'm having this evening ready. I'm gonna click it and we're gonna see if it worked. <gasps> I did it! How's your games going? Pardon? Uh, this one not great. <laughs> okay. I, I did it. My, my doodles helped me fix it, Dan. Thank you. It's all about the doodles, love. Yeah. I feel accomplished. My brain. <laughs> my brain. I only have three of these left. Three of these things to solve. But each one is taking me about 20 minutes. <laughs> and it is 10 p.m. Have you fed mustard? Is it mustard? It's not feeding day. It's not a mustard feeding day. Should we see if she's out? I feel like I need a break. That one was a hard one. Hey, little baby. She's a poking her head out. She's a poking her head out. What you up to? Hey, gorge. Hello. It's mustard. <laughs> Guess what? I just solved the next one in like two seconds. That one was easy. Now we have two left. I did it. I don't know if I've actually completed it yet, but I did all of the polls. Can you see that? It says end game. We're in the end game now. Did I finish it? I'm now like floating around the island in this. It's like Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator at the end. Okay, yeah, I'm floating. Am I floating up to the top of the mountain again? <laughs> I just noticed that as I'm flying past things, the panels are turning off and all of my lasers are going down. It's taking down all of my lasers. I worked so hard to get all those lasers up and now all the lasers are... Dad, it's taking down all my lasers. Is this like one of those things where it like, it's a circular game where it's like, haha, you made it to the end. You're part of a science experiment. You have to do it all again. We were just testing on you. This is why I feel like it's very portal because I feel, I feel very tested on right now. <sighs> it took me back to the beginning and they just booted me out of the game. The game just closed. <laughs> Did you know that this was gonna happen? No. <sighs> how, is finished the, it. how is this the most frustrating game? I didn't even get to do, wait, what if I, what if I go back in it? What does it look like if I go back in it? Will it make me start again? I didn't even get to do Challenger. Well, yeah, you can probably go back and do the Challenger. Yeah, but do I have to do everything again? I don't think so. All right, I'm just gonna launch, I'm gonna launch the game and just see what it looks like when you relaunch it. Unless it makes me like start a new game. It looks like it's gonna make me start a new game. Why? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing. <laughs> Confirmed. I'm at the beginning of the game. I now need to read some articles on the internet to make sure I'm not going mad. Okay, I've calmed down. It turns out that yes, you do start from the beginning, that is the end, but you can reload like auto saves. And so I can actually go back into it and do like all of the extra things and run around the island and do what I want. And then when I'm ready, I'll just step into Charlie's great glass elevator lift thing and finish the game but you know what i think i've had enough <laughs> at least for tonight it's like 10 30 and i think i need to uh decompress cleanse the palate and get into bed and do some reading well that is really not where i expected this day in the life to go my phone is on four percent battery and i leave my phone in the office to charge overnight so gonna say good night here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. Do the likey like. Um, let me know in the comments if you've managed to find any kind of routine during this time or if you're just a take every day as it comes and wake up and see what happens kind of person. Tell the people to subscribe. Subscribe, like, subscribe, um, leave a comment down below. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Bye, bye.